All right, here's another quick walkthrough on our 2016 Dutchman Kodiak. This is a 24 BHSL model, so a bunkhouse slide room model. So let me show you, I'm gonna go through the whole exterior here. We'll look at all the compartments and we'll jump inside and see what that has to offer. Now this thing, it's, uh, it's about five, year, five model years old. So you do have a little bit of cracking and uh, not necessarily peeling, mainly cracking on the front cap decal there. The actual Kodiak sign still looks good. On the side, it looks a lot better. So I'm guessing they probably had it in covered parking, but the front did see some sun. Your first compartment here, Nice big storage compartment, spare tire of course. There is an area to put this on the back. I'm not quite sure why it's here, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's a nice big storage compartment. You see it kind of bows out a little bit and gives you a little bit more space. Its coach does have stabilizing jacks, four of them on every corner. Now they're not electric, but I like these more because if you're on you know, an uneven land, it's much easier to level it out than it is with the electric. Electric awning, of course. And it does have an LED strip under there, double axle. Tires on this are original, they're 2015s. Got a couple outdoor speakers there, power connection, uh, fresh water connection, back of the fridge, and then a sanitization flush right there. A little whole storage under there. You can see that's where you put a spare tire on if you want it. And there's your slide room. It looks like it's about three feet deep. It's for the U-shaped dinette in there. There's the bunk windows, water heater, furnace city water connection got a spray port here 30 amp power service it is a single ac unit and then of course your coaxial connection there no storage in this slide just a regular old fiberglass slide and then that's the other side of that storage of course your weight tag i think also saw a little bit of sun because it is faded cannot read it but if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure this guy's 7700 fully loaded two propane tank single battery it is a manual hitch can be upgraded to an electric but it is manual now and there is room for a second battery if need be that's a quick walk of the exterior let's jump inside I'll show you what you look right when you walk in we're going to start up front in the bedroom here now the bed's queen bed. I'm sure it's a little bit shorter than your standard queen size. There's a storage compartment, a wardrobe area. You do have a nice little storage area up there for shoes or hats or something like that. And then sliding doors, they're not just the accordion style doors, they are actual wood doors. And you can mount another TV on that back panel because that metal panel does not move. And then on the other side, really quick, power outlet of course. And then another little wardrobe here. All right. So in front of the bed, you have your little entertainment center. No TV now, but one can easily be mounted. Multi or uh, multimedia player there. Here's your storage under. And then you do have a little bit of storage above too. With your nice kind of glass windows. All right, now your slide goes from that corner all the way down to that corner right there. Like I said, three feet deep. That table is removable, and it's a little bit easier to walk through when the slides in when that table is not there. This can turn into a sleeper. Sleep two people on paper. On paper, they'll say eight people can sleep in here. You're probably wondering about that. It is just a particle board top. I do need to fix that. I actually have <laughs> a piece of it right there, so we gotta get on that, but something to point out. Great colors in this thing, laminate flooring, carpet on the slide, and then you got a little bit of storage there. You do cannot access that when the slide's in. AC unit, which is right above us, and it does have that quick release. And here's your bunks. These bunks are 300 pound capacities, the double wide bunks. And once again, there's two of them. So no, st is there storage under them? Um... Oh, look at that, you got a little bit of storage under there too. Very nice. Not the easiest thing to access, but you do have it. Now your kitchen. Maybe I can step back here and give you a look. There is some storage, like I said, on this side. You can see three drawers here. So a good amount of storage. This top one just has that piece and a little bit of documentation. Double bay sink, plastic sink. And then just a veneer top for the countertop. 
storage under the sink. You can see you got the kind of walk or the wall there to help block some of the plumbing and water lines. Three burner stainless steel gas stove top with a little baby oven. Still got an oven though. And of course your pots and pan storage. I bet they hardly ever use that because that's usually all chingered up. Stainless steel hood, stainless steel microwave. Very nice. And then a silver paneled Norcold three-way fridge. So run off propane or electric. Pretty standard fridge when it comes to an RV. No ice maker. Breaker box. And that's the kitchen. Nothing too crazy. I don't think we looked at this storage compartment. So let's take a quick peek. And on the left of that, you can see the microwave plugs in there. You have your awning, slide control, level testers, water heater, all that good stuff. There is a very nice skylight. It's very bright, but you got a skylight right there. And then you got your bathroom. It's an all in one, so you got a tub, and then of course your toilet. Toilet's plastic. Then you got a little bit of storage behind the toilet. And then above all that, you do have a little fan. There is an AC vent in here. Actually, a couple AC vents in here. And there should be a heat vent, too. Now, I know. Don't laugh. They, they call that a tub. Really good for kids. Me. I mean, I'm not a kid. I'm a kid at heart. I'm 5'9". I think it still be pretty tall. Fit in there. And then, of course, you got your little sink here. Plastic sink. And then storage under the sink. You do have that plumbing in the way. And then there is also an area for a uh, medicine cabinet. Yeah, here you go. There's a quick little walkthrough of this trailer. 2016 Dutchman Kodiak 24BHSL. Give you one more quick peek from the outside. We are selling this bad boy for $18,995 here at Badada RV Center. If you have any questions, you're welcome to comment down below. My name is Taylor Quell. I could also help you out on one of these if you are looking to buy. Thank you so much for viewing. Hope you guys have a great day.